These are huge blocks, erratic blocks, relics of old walls, which are uh, integrated in them into these uh, more modern buildings. Then. These are sort of like relics maintained. This um, is through the city. Now we go on. We, you see, we go downhill. The moraine is just the other side now. This is the moraine which can be traced, and that's what we will feel when we walk through the town. A whole mixture of rock material here on that wall. And in the moraines, there is also a lot of these larger blocks. And they were very good for building walls, and, and there was not so much material around. So they they had to change the, the source of material, and they had to start using sandstones. But place the sandstone by an artificial sandstone of comparable quality and which looked similar they copied in a way that sandstone and, if, and that's the whole building is now built of a artificial sandstone But you see, there is a sand, the sandstone is not uh, the way it was once constructed. It's probably not perfect because there's obviously water percolating through the wall, uh, coming out, break, making uh, cracks, and uh, precipitating calcite here. they made when they said, well, take that red. I think it was not just an incident while the red stuff is lying around. It was... Touch. Touch. That's uh, probably, uh, that's an art by itself to, 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 to build walls. And obviously it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a long tradition and, and it's a big expertise. If you saw it, if you built the, the walls too dense, obviously it's no good for the water to percolate. Here they never had this problem. They had obviously the, the spaces filled with the different material, the sandstones, and they had took these reddish clay stones. Here we start seeing the, 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 the destruction of a wall almost. You see, it seems to be a softer sandstone, easier to weather than the ones we had over there. Uh, four set structures, inclined structures which remind us that these sands were deposited in a river and the sandbar is a relic of an old sandbar is preserved in that building block in that way. Uh, the Limat was 
Now it was like that the seal went further down. That the limat went into here and the, this area was covered with water all over here in Roman times. A was the shoreline of the limat going into the sea uh -huh. somehow. Yeah, that makes more sense. I think like that. Yeah, because that flows like that and that flowing like that yeah. doesn't make sense. No, it flew, I think it flew into the lake. Yes, anyhow. that makes sense. But it was obviously a swampy area and then the shoreline shifted. B was during early Middle Ages. We can compare these structures with modern structures in sandbars in today's rivers. So we learn how to read these signatures in the rocks. That's what I call the grammar of nature or the semiotic of nature.